The Suspicious Gravel Guide in Minecraft 1.20 The Suspicious Gravel is a new block in the Trails and Tales update. The block is only found in two locations, but can be excavated to get loot items like the pottery sherds and the armor trim smithing templates. In this video, I will explain how to excavate Suspicious Gravel, where to find it, and loot items you can get from Suspicious Gravel. How to Excavate Suspicious Gravel The Suspicious Gravel will have a different appearance in the gravel blocks, as it will be darker and have a different texture. To to excavate the suspicious gravel, you have to use a brush tool on it. This will make the loot items emerge and turn the block into a gravel block. The suspicious gravel block is very fragile, will break if mined, mined with silk touch tool, or the block underneath is removed. You will need to excavate the suspicious gravel where it is found. Where to find the suspicious gravel? There are two locations to find the suspicious gravel. In each location, the loot item you get from the suspicious gravel will be different. The trail ruins are found in jungle, old growth birch forest, Old Growth Pine Tega, Old Growth Spruce Tega, Snowy Tega, and Tega. Basically, Old Growth Tega and Jungle Biomes. It will be found next to water, usually rivers, aquifers, or oceans. A good way to find them is by traveling along rivers in these biomes. The tip of the tower can be seen on the surface. This will be terracotta, suspicious gravel, and gravel blocks. If you dig down in the tower, eventually you will hit a pathway of cobblestone, stone, and stone bricks. The buildings of the trail ruins will be off of this pathway. The inside of the trail ruins will be filled with dirt, coarse dirt, gravel, and suspicious gravel. In Java Edition, there is a rare and common suspicious gravel. The only difference is the loot items you can get. In Bedrock, there is only one suspicious gravel block, and it shares the same loot table. The common suspicious gravel gives brick, dye, candle, clay ball, emerald, wheat, wooden hoe, beetroot seeds, coal, dead bush, flower pot, lead, glass pane, hanging sign, string, wheat seeds, and golden nuggets. The rare will have items Items like burn, danger, friend, heart, heartbreak, howl, sheaf, pottery shirts. Also the relic music disc and the host, razor, shaper, and wayfinder armor trim smithing templates. All the rare items have an 8.3% chance of getting them from excavating the suspicious gravel. In bedrock edition it is a 1.8% chance but the common and rare items are combined into one block. The cold ocean ruins are found in normal, cold, and frozen oceans along with their deep variants. The cold ocean ruins will be composed of stone materials with suspicious gravel along the base of the huts intermixed with gravel. It will be found at the surface or close to it. The cold ocean ruins will be occupied with 1 to 2 or 3 to 4 drowned per a building. The drowned spawn when the cold ocean ruin is generated. Once you've cleared out the drowned they are less likely to spawn as they spawn according to the ocean spawning which is a lot lower. The drowned are easy to deal with as long as they don't have a trident. From playing in the snapshot there are 1 to 4 suspicious suspicious gravel blocks per a hut. The cold ocean ruins can be generated with one hut or multiple huts. You will obviously want to find one with a lot more huts so you can get more suspicious gravel. The suspicious gravel is found at the base of the huts mixed with gravel. The loot from the suspicious gravel is coal, emerald, wheat, wooden hoe, golden nugget, and iron axe. The unique items are the blade, explorer, mourner, and plenty pottery shirts. Each pottery shirt has a 6.7% chance of getting it from excavating the suspicious gravel. If you look at the two locations, the unique items that you can get are the pottery shirts and the armor trim smithing templates. There are a total of 20 pottery shirts and 11 of them can be found through suspicious gravel. Each pottery shirt can only be found at that location. The pottery shirts can be used with bricks to craft a decorated pot. The shirts can be placed on different spots on the pot when crafting to give a different appearance. The decorated pots are in a full block and can have different blocks placed on top of it or a flower pot placed on top with a flower inside. The armor trim smithing templates can be used in the smithing table along with an ingot or crystal for the color to be placed on the armor to give a decorative design. The armor trim does not have any effect on the armor and is just for an appearance. Also one thing to note is the trail ruins are the only place where you can get more than one armor trimming smithing template.